In this problem, we want to determine the internal resisting torque in each segment of the displayed shaft, and we will also want to draw the internal torque diagram. So to begin, we need to define positive and negative torque. The convention I was taught is for the side facing you, if the torque is rotating the shaft from top of the shaft to the bottom of the shaft, it is negative torque. For the side facing you, if the torque is going from the bottom of the shaft to the top of the shaft, it is positive torque. We need to make sure that the shaft is in equilibrium, or in other words, all the torques cancel out. In this case, all the torques cancel out. I'll be working from left to right, so the first torque we encounter is a negative torque of 2,300 newton meters at point A, which this is the torque going through segment AB. So we can plot the 2,300 newton meters on the internal torque diagram between A and B. Next, we come across another negative torque, which is 3,100 newton meters at B. Taking the negative torque of 2,300 newton meters at A and adding the negative torque of 3,100 newton meters at B, we get a torque at segment BC of negative 5,400 newton meters, which we can plot on the internal torque diagram between point B and point C. Our next torque we hit is the positive 6,900 newton meter torque at C. We can add this to the negative torque at A plus the negative torque at B to get the torque at CD, which is 1,500 newton meters and is positive. The final torque at point D is negative 1,500 newton meters, which when added to the torque at A, B, and C, it equals zero. So the shaft is in equilibrium and everything cancels out. I have placed a poll on the community tab of my channel, which for every vote in this specific topic, I will make a video in that topic. So far I have made two mechatronics videos and this static strength of materials video. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.